really. <laughs> um, talking to the camera, honey. We're on. We're live. Good evening. Good afternoon. And welcome to Coffee with the Masons. Yeah. We are the Masons, and he has coffee. I have coffee. I have a blanket. She has a blanket. Probably asking why she has a blanket. Well, not only is it a little cool out here, but hold on. Oh, that's good hot stuff. Um, she was a little feverish earlier. Yeah. Which has me a little nervous later. Fever turns into nerves. Nerves turn into... Well, pray about it. Shut up. Yes, dear. We have prayed about it. And the cat is attacking. I got a fly swatter over there. I can I can handle anything that comes my way. <laughs> How do you beat beer flu? You beat it with a fly swatter. Fly swatter. Fly swatter. You're dang right. There's another way that we can beat beer flu. Pray. Okay, there are two other ways that we can beat beer flu. What's the other one? One is pray. The other one is... Mistress Paul's 100% real fish sticks. I wouldn't say they they would certainly add to a stop. What do we like? They're not going to cure the beer flu, but they will make you um, full. And Let me happy. tell you something. What we've been doing here now, we we from the country. We live out in the middle of well. Once you get to the middle of nowhere, you got to drive about twenty more minutes. We we do different things with foods. We we make. Chili beans and rice. We make meatloaf with the crock pot. We do fish stick sandwiches. 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 My stove is still down, so we've actually <clears> been <throat> cooking in a toaster oven. Like that the stove is up. The oven's down. The oven's down. And I mm. can't figure out why. We may not even figure it out. We may just cook in the garage. It's a freaking genius, actually. All I got to do is get a plug plug it in. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey that might work. That's what I'm saying. In the wintertime, too? There might be heat out there. I'm saying. Ooh, well, yeah. Yeah. All right, keep Jeez. talking. Jeez. What do we like about Mrs. Paul's 100% crunchy fish sticks? 100% real fish for one. 100%. Now, whether or not that is looking at the ingredients. Just keep talking. It's um. Stop. I'm looking at the ingredients to so make sure it's 100%. It looks like. Oh, six sticks is only 220 calories. That's not bad. Ooh. Ooh, that means that you can eat them and not buzz out your jeans. Let you wear stretchy pants like I do. You ain't gonna bust out of them God anyway. Bless stretchy pants. If you don't wear stretchy pants, let me explain something to you. The day I discovered stretchy pant material was the day that I started living again. Whoever developed this fabric, you needs, discovered them. Needs a Nobel Peace Prize. Tell them that story again. Well, we might get to that story. No, just tell me now. Somebody, okay. Well, one day I was getting ready to go to work, and we had been buying clothes <laughs> from the Goodwill because that's what we do. They're already broke in. Oh, they're yeah. cheap, and you do have to wash them when you bring them home, just in case, you know, they got a beer flu in them. But anyway, she had bought me two pairs of pants from Walmart, two brand new pair. We don't buy a brand new pair of pants, so I was suspect. I wasn't even going to pop off the labels because she was up to something. One day, I couldn't find a pair of clean pants, so I said, you know what? I'm going to wear one of them new pair of pants. So I got out of the shower. I slipped them on, and oh, my goodness. It was a world changer. I yelled up the hall, honey, they stretch. And they stretch. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just, it's like making love to parts of the body you forgot you had. Let's talk about the fish sticks. Mm -hmm. But back on the fish sticks now. Fish sticks are, it's fish. Fish is good for you, from what I'm told. They're fun to catch. I've never actually made a fish stick. I've caught some fish that were small enough to qualify as a fish stick. <laughs> yeah, like butter beans. And... They, they're they easy to make. You throw a few in the toaster oven or in the oven or in the microwave. We don't use the microwave to do the fish sticks. I like the toaster oven because they come out crispy. Oh, and they're good. Then you throw like four on a piece of bread, put a little piece of cheese across them, and put two more on there like a fish stick bridge, like handrails. Oh, my goodness. It's, Delicious. Good. it's as good as anything at the stove. Delicious. Delicious. If Bojangles made fish stick sandwiches, they would trump all other restaurants in the area. All of them. All of them. Whoever is the first one to bust out with a fish stick sandwich, you heard it here first. That's the restaurant that's going to make a trillion dollars. Just saying. Just saying. So what else we got going on? Um, That's about it. My Xbox is down. Bless you. Xbox Bless Live you. is having issues. And um, I'm, I don't want to say beer flu is related, but I, it's awful coinky dinkle. So I don't, I don't see any other way that you can't blame this on the beer flu. Beer flu equals Xbox Live crashing. 
And it's kind of weird, you know, just a couple of days after Bill Gates said he's stepping down. Now the Xbox Live's crashing. Did he take it with him? Who he knows? might have. Who knows? What kind of game do you think he plays? I'm guessing he would Empire. probably play Sim, Sim City, <laughs> where he could build his own city. And he probably called it Bill Bill Gatesleton. All right. Or, or Anyways, Bill we, Gatesfield. Or we like to take we like to take the thing here and we make fish sandwiches with it, little mayonnaise, little cheese. Oh, you can still whatever, smell them whatever. in there. And the cat attacked the box while ago. Let me tell you what this little cat They're did while ago. She has. I, I had this old gaming chair. It was just a computer chair that I would sit in. I don't use it much anymore, but um, she loves it. She'll climb up on it. She'll, she'll dig her claws into it. She'll sharpen her claws on it. I'll wait to touch the chair a while ago to slide it over a little bit. She comes running out of the other room like a little black blur and jumps up in the chair, slaps my hand, and runs off. <laughs> just, a, she, I mean, just that quick, whap, 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 and gone like a blur. And it's uh, 44 sticks. You can make a... You can make a sandwich with four sticks. That would be 11 servings. And it was only... Like six five, sticks are better. Five or six... Five or six dollars? Yeah, five or six dollars. Five or six bucks. She hit me with the box. One more again. One, good. One more That's again, good. and I'm going right. to karate chop you in the throat. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to keep it short today. Yeah. Any other words of wisdom? Um, I bought the geese a new swimming pool yesterday. Well, she bought the geese a new swimming pool yesterday. And I introduced it to them today. And they've just now realized that it is friendly. They're very cautious about something of a new color or anything around them. They're very cautious. But they appear to be no longer cautious. Yeah. And they're doing horrible, horrible things in that pool. No, they're yeah. just making baby geese. It's okay. Horrible. It's all natural. It's okay. We can't afford to feed them once we got now. They're going to make little ones. I'm going to get you a little one if you Ooh, don't be quiet. I don't want a little one. It could happen. I want. Okay, you got a Bible verse for us? No. Even a child no. is known by his doings. Yeah. Don't know I don't know which one it is, but I don't know which one this is either. But it says, "But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise yourself unto godliness. For bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having the promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come." I got one. Pray. Pray without ceasing. Pray. Mm -hmm. Oh Any yeah. Any kind of problems? We were like, you know, we don't know if he's got a job on Tuesday. We just prayed about it. And then turn it over to God, and then you don't worry about it. I ain't going to worry about none of it. I no. mean, there was an email saying that production will resume Tuesday morning. So I'm going to show my fat behind up Tuesday morning with my forklift keys and my backpack with my sandwiches in it, and I'm going to be ready to ride. If, we'll see how it goes. If they keep us, they don't. If they do, if they don't, they don't. Um, everything else is shutting down around here for two weeks at a time. So... I feel like it's only a matter of time before that happens too. We are fortunate enough to have everything paid off except our mortgage, which is the only thing we have to pay other than utilities. So that's something we work very hard on. But we got what four vehicles? What well, three and a half? Three and a half. Um, Anyways. And all of those are paid for. We've got one of them not on the insurance because it's in the middle of repair. We're going to drop the truck And off we may end insurance. up dropping the truck if they cancel work for two weeks, but it is what it is. I mean, I'm not look scared. For way, look for ways to save money. Go through your budget. Unplug everything in your house. Unplug everything. Your microwave, if you keep that microwave plugged in, that thing will charge 75 you. 75 cents a day. 75 cents a day. That's $15 a month on your light bill, on your power bill that you can have knocked off. If you do any laundry, do a full load. Run it on cold water. And only do laundry one day a week. Well, we do more than one day a week, but it's always a full load. Well, same thing. Same thing. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Peace Y'all out. Be uh, we'll safe. see you be next happy time. Be well. We'll, we'll probably do another time. video tomorrow since I'm off. I got to go see my, my, my police officer tomorrow. Yep. So we'll Bye. talk to you later. Have